KVGC News Time, seven minutes after the hour of seven o'clock. Welcome to a Wednesday, the 17th day of October for 2018. As of this hour, PGE reporting still about 41 customers out of power in Calaveras County due to Sunday evening's public safety power shutoff. That is McCallamy Hill. Mountain Ranch and Railroad Flat, 41 customers through that area. Also, according to Mark Campbell, superintendent of Calaveras Unified School District, West Point Elementary will be open today and will be operating on its standard schedule. Railroad Flat Elementary will have a late start schedule with school beginning at 830 And uh, Campbell says at last check there was still no power at Railroad Flat Elementary, but they are hoping power to be restored soon. And again, Railroad Flat Elementary will have a late start at 8.30. We're scheduled to talk with Brandy Merlot of PG&E and talk a little bit more about the public safety power shutoff from Sunday evening. Elsewhere in the news, the Ione City Council moved forward with discussions on a shared wastewater disposal project with Mule Creek Prison and a ban on tobacco use in city parks. The council heard a presentation last night on a proposed agreement with the State Department of Corrections to create a new spray field to dispose of treated sewer water from the state prison. The water would be used to irrigate 100 acres of alfalfa now owned by the Jackson Rancheria. Under the proposal, the Department of Corrections would reimburse the city for any expenses they incur while operating the system. The proposal was referred to the city's subcommittee on sewer issues for more details on the financial aspects of this agreement and to work it out. The council also reviewed a first draft of an ordinance that would ban smoking and other tobacco use in city parks. Unlike earlier suggestions, the ordinance reviewed last night does not ban, or check that, does, does ban chewing and smokeless tobacco use as well as e-cigarettes outside of designated tobacco use areas. So again, unlike earlier suggestions, the ordinance reviewed last night does ban chewing and smokeless tobacco. While not identified in the ordinance, the smoking area is expected to be located between the Riding Arena and Evelyn Bishop Hall. A final draft of the ordinance will return to the council for a vote at a later date. Well, as vote-by-mail ballots continue to arrive in Amador County, election official Kim Grady again warns voters of a misleading statewide campaign that's unleashing a barrage of misleading mailings and robocalls. Now, according to Grady, the campaign states there's an error in the title of Proposition 6 in the voting material mailed by the county to voters. Well, this is an incorrect statement. Grady says the California Attorney General prepares the title and summary for state propositions, and the local election office does not make any alterations. Now, Grady goes on to say if we read the fine print on the mailing, it reads, quote, Notice to Voters. This is not an official ballot or an official county voter information guide prepared by the county election office, or excuse me, election official or secretary of state. This is an unofficial marked ballot prepared by Reform California, yes on six. Now, as Grady said during a recent KVGC interview, the bottom line, there was no error in the title and summary. Therefore, no corrections have been issued by state or local election officials. Now, voters need to be aware that the passing of Prop 6 would not end the gas tax. No state initiative can do that by itself, since the current total tax of about 77 cents per gallon includes 18.4 cents in federal taxes state officials cannot control. Now, if approved by voters, Prop 6 would simply eliminate the 12 cent per gallon increase the legislature narrowly voted to impose last year. And a Valley Springs man will spend the next 25 years behind bars following a multi state investigation by the FBI. 30 year old Nicholas Carroll Watkins was sentenced to the prison term, which will be followed by 10 years of supervised release. According to the Department of Justice, Watkins used the Internet applications Kick Messenger and Say Hi to engage in sexually explicit communications with other adults as well as numerous minor females. 
The U.S. Attorney Eastern District of California's office reports that Watkins discussed his sexual interest in children and often solicited and received explicit images directly from minors. In addition to his prison sentence and supervised release, Watkins will also be required to register as a sex offender. The FBI in both Stockton and Miami were involved in this investigation. Well, traffic control measures in place, delays will be significant for final restoration and striping of New York Ranch Road this Friday and Saturday, the 19th and 20th, and again Monday and Tuesday, the 22nd and 23rd, from 7 to 5. The area impacted will be from China Graveyard Road to Court Street. All through traffic on New York Ranch must take an alternate route. Residents accessing Rollingwood Park, Kennedy Meadows Apartments, Jackson Hills Apartments, Oak Tree Townhomes, and other residential properties will all be impacted. Now, access to the New York Ranch Business Center, Quail Hollow Professional Center, Amador County Senior Center, Oak Manor, and Kit Carson Care Facilities and other businesses in the area will also be impacted. Emergency responders will be given immediate access when responding. Again, the work will be done on New York Ranch Road between China Graveyard and Court Street, Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. And containment numbers continue to increase on the Whiskey Fire. Cal Fire reports the fire which broke out early Monday morning is holding at 35 acres and is now 90% contained. 90% contained. Firefighters will remain on scene throughout today and uh, possibly even into tomorrow. Uh, What ignited the fire is still under investigation. The fire located in the Mountain Ranch area near the intersection of Whiskey Slide and Sus Maria Road. And CHP released more info regarding Sunday's DUI two-vehicle collision, Highway 4, west of Baton Road. According to CHP, a family out of series, which included Jose, Amelia, Fabiola, Brenda, and Bemise Aaron Barales, were heading westbound on 4, west of Baton Road, while Daniel Marzi of Valacito was traveling eastbound on 4, approaching the family's 2003 Dodge Ram pickup. Well, due to his level of intoxication, Jose Aranjabras allowed the Dodge Ram to travel into the eastbound lane. The front of the Dodge Ram collided head-on with Marzi's 2010 Chevy Silverado. The collision caused the Dodge Ram to overturn once, coming to rest on its wheels on the south shoulder of the road. The Silverado traveled off the road and came down to rest at the bottom of a dirt embankment. Well, Jose... Aron Abras was arrested at the scene for felony driving while under the influence of an alcoholic beverage, causing injury. Jose was released from custody for medical care, and charges will be filed with the Calaveras DA's office. No further details available at this time. And Cal Fire has canceled a prescribed 500-acre burn for this week, basically because of the high winds earlier this week and personnel working current uh, incidents. Uh, The burn slated to begin today on Bear Mountain and Whittle Vegetation Management Sites was called off for now. The burn area located west of Angels Camp around the Fowler Peak Lookout would have been worked today through Friday with the goal of reducing fuel loading around critical infrastructures as well as providing training for firefighters in numerous fire line and overhead maneuvers. Plans are now to reschedule the burn at a later date. And that's a look at local news on a gold country. Wednesday morning from the KVGC newsroom. I'm JD. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather, 24 hours a day to visit our website at kvgcradio.com.